What's up everybody? I thought it might be entertaining to let you in on a little bit of nonsense that I'm having to deal with right now. I've had my bandsaw for a little less than a year now, probably like nine months. Uh, it's been great for resawing material nice and thin for the laser, but wait till you see how this thing broke. Definitely changing my opinion of it. Here is my bandsaw. I need to spend a little bit of time vacuuming it so it's a little easier to demonstrate just why this thing broke. But here you go, it's the G0948. Uh, for those of you that really like to see these tags, here you go, hold it there for a sec. Something I'll point out, it takes a 72 and a half inch blade as a maximum, and that's what I was trying to tension when this thing broke. So I really feel like it broke under routine use, and it should not have. Okay, so here it is, the big reveal, exactly what happened here. So, this threaded rod here is what turns and tensions the blade. So first, let's go ahead and detension this, take the tension off this and pop the blade off so that this is a little more accessible. I'll pop the wheel off here too so you can see the little spring assembly. So, here's where the knob would sit. Obviously, it would be a lot easier to turn this to take tension off the blade, but I can still crank this and get it done. With this machine, the lower wheel is bolted in and will never be removable unless you really work hard at removing it. Um, so you can take the top one off at any time and the blade's still gonna track properly. It's not gonna cause you alignment issues. You got this knob here, sits right here. Uh, here's what the fitting looks like. I believe this was just pounded into place. I didn't see any adhesive. If they used adhesive to attach this to this threaded rod, that runs through the spring, uh, it's, there's no residue at all. It just looks like a jagged piece of metal that is snapped. See that? So it's just, I'm going to use that word, man. It's asinine to me that this plastic piece is just friction fit on here because as you tighten the bandsaw, right, and this area moves up, starts to force this to move the pulley and get your tension. Uh, what you end up with is this threaded rod is basically pulling down on the handle because the handle just sits right here, right? It's pulling the handle against the top of the machine. And what you can do very easily is just go too far with the threaded rod. And if you go too far with that threaded rod, the handle just pops right off. So in my humble opinion, the right thing to do would have been to have this part just be cast with this rod and one continuous metal piece leading to a metal handle right up here. Uh, basically no opportunity for breakage that way. I'm not sure if this was designed to break this way. I ordered another, I reached out to Grizzly customer service to let them know that this broke just while trying to tension a 72 and a half inch blade. And they basically just sent me a link to the part instead of offering to send it or anything. So I wasn't really impressed there. I did mention that it was less than a year and all that. Um, so yeah, definitely not the ideal solution, but the part was only $11. So not a big deal. Ultimately, I went ahead and ordered it. It's on the way here. But for now, I'm dead in the water with this thing. Um, couldn't manually tighten it with pliers or something, but that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is pop the wheel back on here, I'm going to pop the blade back on, and then I'm going to show you this thing tensioning, and you'll see why uh, there's pressure basically just pulling this knob into the top of the machine. So it's always going to be under stress. They understood that when they designed the machine. Like most bandsaws, that's how it works. There's going to be some stress on the top knob here. But ideally that knob will be made of metal or fastened more securely into this threaded rod so that you can't just get it popping off like I did.
Okay, so if we go ahead and turn this to see the pulley move up. There we go, I'll move that so you can see the spring. You see the pulley move up. You'll see the block move up this threaded rod and compress the spring against this top piece here. So you can imagine the rod is being pulled this way pretty much constantly. So we got the new part in the mail. Uh, I am guessing it's just going to break again because there's such a downward force being placed and that knob is expected to just hold up and prevent that bolt from going down into the machine further than it should, from threading in farther than it should. I didn't feel any resistance really at any point that stopped me from turning the knob, so I just kept going. If I had the machine open, I may have noticed that I was running out of clearance and could have stopped trying to tension it. But again, this all happened trying to tension a blade that the machine said I could use. So I think moving forward, you want to stick in the lower range for the blade length for this. Probably a 71 and a half inch blade is going to be a lot easier to tension because you just don't need the travel to move that pulley. You know, the blade is smaller, so it doesn't have to tension. You don't have to crank on that knob as much to get it to tension the blade. So that's what I'm going to do moving forward. I would have been happy to do that in the first place if I knew this machine had that limitation. So anybody out there have this machine, have this problem, anything like it, anything else I should look out for? Let me know. Otherwise, I've been a fan of the machine. It's in like the $500 range. Um, I'll try to post exactly how much I spent on it. But yeah, somebody that is looking for a bandsaw that's a little beefier than a benchtop one is going to start looking at this one. <clears throat> that's all for today. Thank you all, all of you that have subscribed. If you are interested in seeing anything like this in the future and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, toss the video a like if you found anything interesting. That'll help it get more views. That'll help a little guy like me out on YouTube. Till next time, take care.